take my sand and I'm going to take this plastic container and I'm going to make a mold. Now I know it's plastic and it's probably a bad idea, but if I put like a trench or a barrier around the outside so all the aluminum stays in the middle, it probably won't light on fire. So I'm going to cut, I think, six of these cups. Yeah. So uh, I cut the cups, now the idea is I'll have this on top. That's pretty much there to hold down the cups right now because there's styrofoam and it's a little bit windy outside. I'm gonna fill around it with this loop sand to hold them in place. And then around the actual one by one piece of wood, I'm gonna pack it in with my green sand to uh, keep a form so I can, so when I pour it in there, that's where it goes and stays and it doesn't just push the sand out of the way and hit the side. So, check that out, see how that goes. That's the idea. I'm gonna hold the, uh, I'm gonna hold those cups down with loose sand and then when uh take this out it's the idea because these are going to be held in there I'm going to brush off the top a wee bit let's see I want it to be completely encased by sand. <coughs> Except for where the one by one's gonna be touching, right here. So that's where it's gonna be pouring. That's where the aluminum's gonna pour in at. Hopefully. So now I'm gonna put that back down. Right, like. Yeah, flat a 
side. Give it a little bit of a... Keep it nice and level-like. I get any kind of static about my green sand well I know I need more cat litter in it I need I need more of that there uh, bentonite clay I know it's not a good consistency but I haven't got a I haven't gotten a valid method of crushing the bentonite clay yet so that's fine because then I'll just make all this my green sand And it'll be all right. It'll all work out. Yeah, it's not exactly how I plan to do it, but for sake of time. We're just gonna do it that way. The whole idea is that I have all this packed ish. So that when I pour the metal where this two by where this one by one is. That's where it stays, because I don't want to hit the plastic, for obvious reasons. And then, when I pour the aluminum, this should all stay nice and steel, and I should get six, well, half cups of aluminum. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see if it works. Probably not today. Like, I really want to try out this foundry, like, real bad. But, I gotta figure out how to get that coal lid. I, like, I think it'll just light up, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to start something and get everything out and then end up, excuse me, end up not working. So I'm trying to get pieces of wood, like that one, that I'm using for that, to, uh, cardboard down, some lighter fluid, some small chunks of dry wood, then a layer of coal, light all that, throw some air to it, let that burn down a little bit, get it all nice and hot and dry, and then when the coal lights, add more coal on top, throw my crucible in, throw the aluminum in, bam, done. That's the, that's the thought process. But right now I'd have, I have no wood, like I have, ha, I have no, uh, 
reasonable dry wood. Like, I have a bunch of wood at the top of the yard, but it rained yesterday, so there's no way that's going to work. So I'm going to try to pull this here one by one out. You know what? No, I'm going to leave it until I'm ready. Nah, you know what? No, nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's, uh... What do you think? Do you think I can just... I think I should just leave it? Yeah, I think I should probably just leave it. Put a screw in it or something and pull it straight up. I think that's probably a good idea. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag this on the melt video. I just... I kinda wanna get everything ready and have like a nice smooth video because I haven't figured out how to like uh, show me fast forwarding. Like, I haven't figured out how to do like, oh, you know, here's me doing this and then just show it through at like eight times speed but it's fine i'll figure it out right, later on guys so guess what guys today is our first melt i am i got this all set up nice and fiery the pipe the longer pipe the hair dryer now i don't know if you watch any of their videos but as you can see this isn't the same hair dryer as I was using before because the other one I was messing with it and it literally lit on fire. So um, I I bought one. So yeah, well the other one's trash now and this one works. So that's all you need to know. I didn't I didn't hurt myself, so it's fine. <laughs> or burn down the house. Um, so today I plan to melt that aluminum. That aluminum. That aluminum. And I decided to do it in the fire extinguisher instead of doing it in um, the, the soup can because, well, I just figured it, it's just safer that way. I'll get another fire extinguisher or something. I don't want to risk. I want to take the least amount of chances as possible on my first melt. And there's my mold, which I got to pull that piece out, which I'm going to do on camera right now. I don't know if that turned out the way I wanted it to, but we'll see. As long as it doesn't cave in or touch the the plastic, I guess it's a, it's a success. Like I said before, I never really cared for the fact of making ingots in the first place. The only good part about it is alloying and conserving space otherwise you're just kind of wasting stuff so boom fire all right so let me uh let me get some coal on there and start popping in some aluminum here's what we're starting with check this out these are aluminum keys and trinkets and stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna start with those to get a little puddle going I'll pop that in on top. But, all right, guys, enjoy.
So right now I just got the hair dryer set on uh, set on low. And that's what we got going on. It looks like it's snowing out here. Good thing it rained like, I don't know, a couple days ago, yesterday. There it is on high. Take a closer look. Now I don't have a lot of cool in there yet. And I can feel the heat coming off of it. Can you hear it? Alright guys. I'm gonna get a little bit of heat going in this thing. Get my aluminum nice and nice and melty because I don't know how to do like the, uh, the fast forwardy thing yet, like I told you before. So, so I kind of have to chunk the video up. I don't want to do 20 minutes of me sitting here watching a pot. So, all right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I'm back and it's been about 10 minutes. Shabam! Got a puddle of aluminum. So. I mastered aluminum in about 10 minutes. I used my only crucible. I don't really know if I want to mix metals, but I don't plan to do anything with brass that's work related. Like aluminum, I might cast into parts or something. I had one project with brass I was thinking about doing, but mostly brass, I was thinking it's just going to be decorative. Like I might make somebody a gift or uh, I might do a giveaway or something if some if I start actually getting views I might do a do like a, a brass turtle giveaway which was really something I was thinking about but until until uh, I start getting actual people to view you know what I'm doing it doesn't really I ain't gonna have anybody to give anything away too so yeah Look, it's just, just mulching it down, man. I was wearing gloves. But then I grabbed the camera and decided gloves were optional. I'm gonna put you back on the stand. Get a good view. There we go. I actually don't think there's going to be as much aluminum as I thought there was going to be. Like I thought I was going to have a full crucible out of all this crap, but now that I see where it's actually going, I'm thinking maybe half.
it's got, got this thing going on there. And I don't want that on there. I don't know if I can get it off either. It was supposed to be real easy to get soda cans in there, but my uh, my crucible went a little off center when I put that one piece in there, and I didn't fix it. Now I have to take the lid off to get the to get the soda can in, <coughs> which presents a problem because that thing is hot. We probably turn it down to low and probably still melt aluminum. I just wanted to see like. I want to see how this takes it, you know? Now I think, I'm pretty sure that's cast aluminum, so I can melt it too. I just didn't want the screws in there. It seems like the, uh, the King of Random's whole mix thing is going good, too. Like, the lid... It's definitely under some extreme heat. Like, I'm talking, like, probably approaching... I'm not, obviously not a thermometer, but probably 15 to 1800 degrees Celsius. So, I mean, that's nothing... It's not like... That's right up there to where copper starts to melt.
Alright guys. Uh, oh no. Okay, once that, I'll show you the puddle in there then. I'm going to take a little intermission and I'll get back to you. I don't know if you can see it. Alright guys, about 15 minutes I should be pouring and uh, I'll make sure you guys get a good view of that. Alright, later on. All right. Hey guys, I want you guys to see this real quick. So you see, pole there. Alright. And just like that, it's gone. Well, my battery died. But, anyways, there's some problems with the mold. We'll see how it turns out. I have this for the remainder. Hopefully it's big enough. I have no idea. I still have a, I still have a decent amount to go. If not, I'll find something else to pour it into or something. Alright, get ready for the second pour. So uh, my mold did a little something a little funny. At least it didn't burst into flames. So uh, here I'm gonna remove it because I gotta get ready for the next pour. And there is significantly more aluminum than I thought there was gonna be. So I'm hoping it's solidified. It should be. I mean I don't see why it wouldn't be by now. I just gotta figure out how to get it out of here. This is why I can't do everything with one hand. I... Alright guys, I, I'm actually pretty proud of this. What do you think? Good job? A plus? Huh? So I'm going to bury that 2x2 two two in here, make a new mold of just a, a square, and I'm going to use this for the rest of it. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. Well, that sand is extremely hot. So I'm just going to, I just kind of like dug a ditch. And that's what I'm going to do, because... Well, it is, here, this is how hot it is. Like, I tried to put this in there, and it melted on contact. So, that's not going to happen. Alright, so i got about two minutes of voiceover here. One, I get to test the voiceover, which is why I'm doing it. Two, I left this part of the film and let me know that my camera died. And when it died, it corrupted a... A section of the film of the whole first pour so it kind of ruined that whole like the whole section so uh, here's the second pour and the second pour I went and uh, I started with uh, the silver cup over on the side and it wasn't in the camera shot that's why uh, that's why you're just kind of staring at a sandbox right now but in a matter of moments you will see the the blob form
Yeah, look at that awesome shape. I wish I had Orbeez. You know what? A whole bunch didn't come out. Let's see if it's uh, slag or dross like stuck in there. Oh no. Hopefully I can bang that out of there whenever it comes time. Alright, so out of all that aluminum and 15 small itty bitty clips I got a piece all together. This is what I got. This gorgeous thing that I didn't think it was going to come out, but it came out beautifully, which it's just ingots, but you know, I think it's amazing because it worked the way I wanted it to. Then I have this guy. It's, it's bigger than a muffin, which is unfortunate because I don't like, I don't want anything that big because most of the stuff I'm either going to alloy or cast as is, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And I have that thing, the blob. And we'll see how that turns out. And there's a bunch left in there. But I think it might be like the paint and stuff and the dross. Like I don't know why it went to the bottom instead of coming to the top. But I'll figure all that out later. Well. It's cleanup time. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great life. And like I said. I might do brass next. And I might cast a turtle. And I might give be a giveaway. Start getting some views. All right, later on. Hey guys, so uh, just wanted to show you the end product. So I'm pretty proud of all this. All right, it's actually a significantly more than I thought there was gonna be. So we got we got the lump, which I'm probably gonna end up melting down for I don't know straight casting for something else or probably yeah. And we have this guy. It's the the mold I made, which I'm thinking I'm, which I can cut apart, and I'm gonna use it for alloying probably. It's very, very weighty. And then this guy. Together, I'd say it's probably. You now I'm not a I'm not a scale, so I probably couldn't really can't really do this accurately. I don't have an accurate scale. But I'd say it's probably hmm, seven pounds for all that. Now there is probably half a pound in the bottom of the crucible, which I don't know if it if it's you know the dross, the slag, or there was something in the aluminum that was heavier. Um, I don't really know, or I couldn't just couldn't get it all out, which that would surprise me because I, I should have probably gotten all out. But, alright, thanks for watching guys, I'm happy to finally get my first melt, and I'll let you guys know when I'm doing the brass, alright, have a good night.